leather cap and his checkered tie. Let's see what he has to say. What's he got for us this time? They're probably Blu-rays. A fishing on his wrist. It's a guilty measure. A fishing on his wrist. It's a common measure. A fishing on his wrist. Shout the lights. Shoot the cameras. Bow for the world in panorama. He likes to impersonate Walker. Hey everybody, Fishing Eyes Chris here. And today I'm going to be talking about some really awesome bangs that come from Diamond Select Toys. You might remember them from the Godzilla 1989 bank that I reviewed long ago, which was an absolutely awesome toy and collectible that I still keep. Uh, they're actually continuing that tradition with more Godzilla vinyl banks. However, these two are not of the uh, same scale as these ones, but they are cool nonetheless. The ones we're going to be taking a look at are the King Ghidorah Bust Vinyl Bank, as well as the Mecha Godzilla bust vinyl bank. Now, as you can see, this one is based on the uh, original 70s uh, uh, Mecha Godzilla, who was also known as the Cosmic Monster. And uh, this is actually my preferred design. I think this is the uh, the best looking Mecha Godzilla uh, design. I mean, I don't mind all of them, but this one has always kind of stuck as my favorite because, well, it, it basically looks you know robotic. All the other ones kind of look very shiny and clean, kind of like iPods. Whereas this one, I think, has that you know really awesome. Uh, cliched robot look to it. It just looks really awesome in my opinion. First let's talk about King Ghidorah because he is uh, quite possibly the widest bank. That, like, you know, he may lack in uh, scale and length, but you know, width, he's a, uh, well, he, there's no comparison. I like the fact that this one is based on the uh, 1990 King Ghidorah, if I'm not mistaken. 1990, the uh, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah from the 90s. Uh, which again, much like uh, the Cosmic Monster, this is my preferred design of uh, Ghidorah at, at overall. I think this is, it gets him that real dragon look and he's actually kind of menacing and also I just really like how you know the, the gold looks. I've just always preferred this version but then again most of the toys when I was a kid looked a lot like this one. Now you have the plug for both of these right underneath the bust and for both of them the coin slots are on the back. You got one for Mega Godzilla uh, right next to one of the fins and for King Ghidorah you uh, have it just right on his back. Very convenient and uh, easy to find. Now the coolest thing I shall uh, show, now King Ghidorah, much like the 89 Godzilla bank that I reviewed, is solid. He can't really move him, but uh, he's not really heavy either. He's kind of uh, very light uh, in comparison. However, with the Mecha Godzilla, he's actually semi-posable. You can actually move his head left to right, and you can actually move his arms up and down. That's really cool if there's a pose you prefer him to be on and display, like, you know, maybe like this, or looking to the right, I don't know, but that's actually really cool. I don't really think they make a lot of banks that are uh, highly posable, at least I never owned any that did. So I, I think it's kind of cool that he, of all the uh, Godzilla banks, has, you know, uh, posable arms and a uh, neck. So, yeah, it's just a really cool collectible. It's a great addition, as well as the King Ghidorah, uh, to my collection of ever-growing Godzilla memorabilia. And Diamond Select has done a very good job. These are just some really awesome collectibles. They're well-detailed, they look great, and, you know, if you're gonna be like me and not use them as a bank, they just look great on your shelf as really cool, uh, very inexpensive bust collectibles. So that's it for my review of the King Ghidorah and Mecha Godzilla vinyl banks from Diamond Select. Highly recommended for all Godzilla fans, and especially classic Godzilla fans who would like some really cool and inexpensive collectibles for the holidays. I think these are some very ideal gifts because they just look really cool on a desk or on a shelf or just anywhere. They're just really awesome collectibles and they go great with the 1989 Godzilla. That's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed the video and please have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Hey mom, look, I finished the video. Are you proud of me? If you happen to like what you saw, then you can hit that subscribe button for more. And if you want to be extra generous, you can donate to my Patreon page in the link below. You can donate anywhere from 25 cents to a whole dollar. Every little bit helps. Anyone who donates gets their name at the end of the credits of every video, just like these awesome supporters. And if you'd like updates on future projects, you can like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Oh, you're still here? Well, since you've stayed this long, you can check out some of my previous videos.